In this advanced rigging tutorial, we will be looking at how to position your drawing nodes on a composite. Now, we've, uh, we've drawn all of our art, we've painted all of our different layers, um, but it obviously my character doesn't really want to look like this. Um, so we're actually going to go and make ourselves a little bit more room. Uh, we want to be able to see the node view to order all of our different elements and uh, we're not really going to use the color or the tool properties for this so I'm going to click on the little arrows rear here on the corner of each view to collapse them and oops. okay so here we go I want to be able to see my camera view and uh, all of my nodes inside of my node view and in order to put them uh, all in the right order, what I can do to facilitate this is to create new composites so that I can actually split some of these connections to have fewer that go into my master comp right here. So to create a new composite, you can either go in your node library and look up the composite node, which is right here. Or if you want the quick shortcut, you can do Control H and that will right away create a composite into your node view. I'm going to be renaming them and setting them as pass through composites right here. So you can either click on the, the yellow box that goes right next to your node or if you have your layer properties view, you can actually see these uh, from there as well. So I have it set as pass through. I'm going to have a composite for each arm. So I'll have arm front comp. I'm going to create another one. You can go and copy paste it so that it saves the properties that you have in there. I'm going to have a comp back for the arm. And then I'm going to create one for the legs. So I'll have the leg front comp and I'll have the leg back comp. And I'm also going to create a fifth one called head comp. If you've done a, a rig or um, anything that's slightly comp a little bit more complex using a character, you will know that most of the pieces that I have in my character actually end up being in the head since it has so many different elements in there. So I want to have the head comp to be able to um, have much fewer connections to my master composite. So now that I have these, I can actually start grouping up uh, all of the different elements that are going to be connected to this and position them in the right order which is going to be easier since there's going to be fewer connections. So for instance the arm front is going to have my arm front connection. I'm going to come and reconnect it here. I'm also going to need the forearm front so I can just look real quick and try to find my forearm front and while I'm at it I also need the hand front so I'm going to come and grab both of these and simply come and connect them and the arm front comp so once I have all of these my arm front no longer shows because they're connected here and this composite isn't connected to the main one so I can just go and connect this above here and now I have instead of three connections going to my master comp I have just one so you can do this with the arms the legs and the head uh, the head obviously is going to have a little bit more info in it so you just want to make sure that you go one at a time to make sense of everything that's in there um, I can disconnect all of the elements that are going to go in my head that is how I would do it if there is uh, 
a way that you would prefer, then go right ahead. Just make sure that you uh, put them in the right order in the composite. So I have my nose, my mouth, the ears, the hair, as you can see, that's a lot of different nodes that are going to go in there. The arm and the body, that's for later. I have the collar, tie, the tie knot. And here I've got my head, my cheeks. And that seems about it. So now that these are all disconnected from my structure, I can start connecting them to my composite. As you can see now, I no longer, my character no longer has a head. So what is going to come way at the back, I can actually turn on my ref if I want to make some sense of it. The hair is probably going to be the thing that is uh, sticking at the back. So we're going to look for our hair, which is right here. Now, once I have that, probably want the ear back. Now you'll notice that my my character from quarterfront doesn't have uh, an ear at the back here, but since we're going to do the entire character inside the same rig, this one is going to be uh, the one that is at the back. It's just that we don't see it in this one. So I'm just going to connect it here. Um, then if we want, we can deactivate just to be able to see our reference here. Um, the next thing that I might want to have is actually the head and the cheeks. So head and cheeks are going to be over here. Now that I've connected them, I'm going to deactivate them. And I'll just reactivate everything once I'm done so that we can see if we, uh, we've connected everything in the right order. I actually have my ear sticking at the back here that should have been connected under both of my layers. If you want, you can actually come and reposition these just so they make sense. Uh, with how you've positioned them on your composite. Just like that. I'm going to deactivate these. Um, then we're going to have probably the glasses at the back here. We're going to have the glasses temple that is going to be probably here. And then the pupil is going to be above the glasses. And as I can see, you can just have a look at both views. Um, always prioritize the quarter front. As you can see, the arm here is at the back, but on this one, it's supposed to be at the front. Prioritize this one, and for the front view, we will make use of the Z values to position some items in the back instead of in front. And then I'll have the pupil connected here. Now I have the nose, which is probably the, the thing that is going to be most at the front along with maybe just the eyebrows that I'm missing. And whoops, I can't see my mouth. So where is my mouth? Uh, my mouth is not connected. There we go. So that seems about right. Everything appears to be in the right order. For some of these, they're actually uh, a matter of personal choice if you wanted to have the cheeks under the, um, under the head, that would work too. So you can come and reposition these. As long as they're positioned properly in the composite, you don't need to worry about having them all lined up like this. I just like uh, to have them lined up because it just looks cleaner and a little bit more easier to follow to me. 
Um, so come and connect the arms to their separate composites. Come and separate the legs to their separate composites. Bring that all into the master comp and we will continue in the next step.